Hello to everybody. It's another beautiful, gorgeous day. There's an interesting story that's brought down. Once Eliyahu Hanavi, Prophet Elijah, was walking on the street and he saw an angel of death, Malach Hamavet. So Eliyahu Hanavi asked him, like, what are you doing here? So the angel of death said that I'm doing the mission of Hashem. Hashem sent me down here to this city to take away 300 lives. A few months later, Eliyahu Anavi, he meets again the Malach Hamavet, the, the angel of death. So Eliyahu Anavi asked him, you said you're going to take away 300 lives, but in reality, over 900 people died. So the angel of death said something very interesting. Hashem sent me to take away 300 lives. That's what I did. And the other 600 people that died, they died out of fear, out of panic, worry. That's exactly what we are facing in our days. We are going through this virus, coronavirus, that everybody's talking about. It's all over on the media. It's all over on chats. It's all over Instagram and Facebook. The situation is being over-exaggerated also. More fear affecting people than the virus itself. If you, if you speak to the doctors, they'll tell you, small percentage of people come to the hospital due to the virus the rest of the people come due to the panic fear anxiety panic attack and it's all because we spend too much time investigating to this bad news we spend too much time on our chats many people have uh, over 20 30 different chats and every few seconds there's another ring on the chat something else happened there's too many negative news nobody ever became healthy through the negative news nobody ever became healthy happy or successful through bad news we're all looking for happiness that's what hashem wants us if do it hashem you should serve god with happiness the happy way of living we already know by now you have to keep your hands clean you have to sanitize you have to wash them or to wear a mask to keep a distance another thing that we need to know is psychological health we need right now is to stop watching the negative news even throughout throughout a year Throughout a year, even when there's no virus like that we're facing now, we're still going through the bad news. People love to watch news. We never hear anything positive on the news. Nobody ever became healthy or strong or successful through the news. If a person wants to watch, watch something positive, something healthy. Unsubscribe yourself from those negative chats. That makes people psychologically sick. Uh, I have a friend that works in Hatzal. Unfortunately, they're working very hard, full time. Most of the people, they think something wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with you. We're all happy. We're all healthy. It's all psychological health. Many people are suffering right now. It's a huge change in the world. But it's all about mindset. If a person sitting at home, what's your mindset? What's your mindset? Am I punished? If the mindset is I'm punished, I feel like I'm locked up and I have nowhere else to go, I have nothing else to do, that really hurts us even more. But if a person changes the mindset, well, I'm very fortunate that I could stay home, spend more time with the family, have more time to get ready for the Pesach. Throughout a year, we all wish to have free time. That's exactly what happened. Now we all have a lot of free time. So if it's a different mindset, look at the situation through happiness, people feel different, people sleep different, people eat different. But now, unfortunately, I have a friend that works in pharmacy. He tells me most of the medication people come is antidepressants. People come for antidepressants. Psychologically, a lot of people are affected. We just have to change our mind, mindset. We should not look at the situation that I'm tied up, I have nowhere, I'm not allowed to be in the streets, I have nowhere else to go. I'm punished. You're not punished. It's just Hashem heard our prayers because throughout the year, we ask, we ask Hashem, like, oh, I wish I had more free time. So Hashem heard our prayers. We have now more free time. Throughout a year, we hear a woman many times, they say like, well, well, when I get some more time, I'd like to learn something new in cooking, in baking. So Hashem heard your prayers. So we're fortunate, we're at Tzadikim, we're in a good spiritual level that Hashem heard our prayers and now we have more free time. Uh, it's like an elderly, elderly man tells me, he's, in, he's, he's about in the 60s, he told me that he's so happy to be home. For the past two weeks, he learned alphabet, Hebrew alphabet. Now, he's not, no longer going to read in Russian trans, 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 translation, he's going to read Hebrew. So we have to see in every situation as a blessing, it's not a curse. We're just going to the next level, spending time, more time with family. 
uh, we always wish to have time to clean our closets, to clean the, our basements, our garages, uh, to spend time with the family, to read another book, to time to exercise, to live healthy, to be happy. Now is a great opportunity. So Rabotai, let's just change our mindset. Stop complaining, start praising and being grateful to Hashem. Because only through the happiness we could survive, through this heavy galut. Nobody ever survived through the complaining. Everybody should have a blessed day, stay healthy.